experimental sample. The first three lines of my do file should be annoying by now. Clear all, which erase any current data, local macros, global macros, everything. Change directory and use the data set. Describe and execute the entire do file. By writing browse, I can access a spreadsheet containing the data. Each row contains information about a single household. There are 583 households, 583 lines. The columns are what we call variables. The variable NH contains a single identification number for each household. The variable year contains the year of the baseline survey, 1991. Okay, the point here is to randomly select an experimental subsample of 300 households. You can picture this as a lottery among all the households from the survey which represent our target population. Each observation, each household will be receiving a lottery ticket with a random number. I will call this ticket, this variable, random. The numbers will be drawn from a standard uniform distribution which means that each household will have a real number between 0 and 1. And all the numbers within this interval have the same probability to be chosen. This is kind of a virtual hut. The command for this is R uniform with an empty parenthesis at the end. R like random and uniform because of the distribution. I execute. Let me browse two variables that I want to inspect. NH, the household ID, and the lottery ticket, random. This is how it looks, ID and lottery number. Now, I want to order those numbers from the smallest to the largest, and the first 300, some kind of winners, will be part of the experimental sample, and the rest will not. The command sort orders the observations with respect to the variable random, from the smallest to the largest number. Let's take a look again. If you want to repeat a command, that you already executed. You can just look for it on the review window and click on the old command. Browse. We still have household ID and random, but the first observation is now the household with the smallest lottery number, increasing when it goes down. To select the first 300 households, I will create a dummy variable called experiment. I say for the first 300 observations, take the value of 1, and zero for the rest. When the expression inside the parenthesis is true, the variable experiment takes the value of one and zero when the expression evaluates to false. Underscore variables like underscore n here are built-in state values. This one means the position of the current observation. So as long as the current observation is before or at the position 300, the expression evaluates to true, to one. Let me print a table of the new variable experiment. Do. There are 300 observations that belong to our experimental sample. Experiment equals to 1. And the other 283 that don't belong to the experimental sample. We will evaluate our program with a randomly chosen subset that contains 51% of the initial baseline survey. 